Hello guys, Mike Martin here. Uh, we just pushed Magic page 4.1. Um, there was a little problem with something that was auto refreshing. We fixed that. Uh, if you're still having that problem, then you need to press Control and F5 a few times on your uh, PC and that will just refresh and clear everything out and get it so that it actually works for you. Um, I'm just going to show you the main features of what 4.1 is. Um, as you can see, this is a blank website. It's never been used before. It's a plumbing site. We have our location set here, just in case anybody doesn't know, because when, when you do set your central location, it will attach to this for you. Um, and I'm just going to show you the main changes that have happened in 4.1 at the moment. We did a list the other day of them, but obviously the key feature is Google is attacking large websites that pop up overnight. Now, the way we were previously doing it is, or the way my team have been doing it, is we've been putting up a website and we've been going in every few days and increasing the size, which is um, an absolute nightmare. So <laughs> we don't want to do that anymore. So what we've now done is we've just created um, I don't know, a self-growing website, let's call it. Um, so what will happen, this is a Bradford plumbing site, so I will select... Bradford is my central location, first of all. Now, you must save this first so that the actual counter thing can catch on to it. Um, they've not got real names, these things, so I'm just going to call them counter things and stuff like that. So you will click update, and obviously you will see that that's been saved as your central location. Then what you do is you come to this little section here, which looks different than it used to do. And rather than being 299 locations, what you're going to do is you click that, and then you can select. So if you go into a big site that you've already got built, then you want to keep all of your available locations, but you want to make it bigger or slightly bigger over a period of time. You use choose option two. Alternatively, you can discard all installed locations, which is not recommended if they've already been indexed, and start again from scratch. Um, and what it does is it builds like a radius around the central location. So what it will do is it will start building out from Bradford on this site, and it will go round it in a little circle and pull in all the closest locations and get bigger and bigger and bigger over a period of time. So we've clicked this here. I'm going to click start from scratch. So we've got zero locations out of 299. Then we can choose here 30, 60 or 90 days, or you can put a custom value in. Okay, so let's say we were gonna run this over a three month period to grow to 299 pages. We would now click save and that would work. But what some people might want to do when you're designing this, because you put your city short code in there, see this here, uh, you want to be at see central locations. You don't want to start a site with zero pages. So what you might want to do is the little button you can click here, and that gives you a list of all the installed locations. Well, currently there are none. If you click this little button here, it'll automatically install the 10 closest locations for you. Now you can click that button multiple times. So if you want to click it a second time, you've now got 20 installed locations, okay? Um, and then we can come out of there and as you can see we've got 20 installed locations out of 299 and the other 200 and odd locations will be installed over the next 90 days so what happens is your website will grow over 90 days now if you're doing big websites the longer you let this go the better it's going to look in google's eyes um, you can also see <coughs> excuse me you can now see a list of locations that will be installed as you can see we've got 20 odd pages there uh, by clicking that button or already installed locations. You click this button and it brings up the 20 locations that are installed. Okay. And, excuse me. Um, and obviously as they get installed. So each day you've got an information button here if you want to know how many has been installed on a per day basis. You click the little I button. And as you can see, so we've got in the last seven days, 14 days, last 30 days. But you can see that we've had 20 pages installed today and it will install some tomorrow, some the next day and so on and so forth. And it will grow the site over a period of time, which is absolutely brilliant for SEO. You can see how many have been installed um, on, on a progressive basis. Now, when I first started testing this, I was telling my team that it's broke because I put into like 50,000 pages here to test it, set it to go for one day. And then I kept going back to the actual magic page. Um, so let me just update that what we've set it up as now. And I kept going back to the magic page and I was saying to him, it's not working <laughs> because I couldn't see them. Um, I couldn't see the pages down here still. And I was like, well, 50,000, it should be doing at least one a second. Um, but it wasn't simply because, um, and obviously you can see from the 10 closest locations we've got set down here, um, that we've got 20 areas installed now. And the reason it wasn't is it's, it's, 
it works on a daily basis. So basically what will happen is tomorrow it'll install whatever number of pages are between uh, the 279 pages left divided by 90 days. So it will, in, it will install three, four, five, ten 10 pages a day all the way until you've got all of your pages installed. Um, I'm just gonna show you a quick thing on the home page in a minute. Uh, now, you see we've set Bradford as the central location. When we first came on, you could see it had a short code in it. And what it does is now the short codes can be pulled into the home location. So if you build a website, yeah, and you can use your city short code here with, with the Bradford location set on it, what will happen is you can literally pull that website down upload it to a new website anywhere you want in the world rather than using the actual um, Bradford short codes set the central location and the site will automatically fit in that location now obviously you're going to build better sites than this this is a, a terrible looking site but this is just built for demo purposes and uh, PBNs I use these for my single niche PBNs that I build but as you can see it even pulls in Bradford and BD1 down the bottom if we were to change that central location, it would change throughout the site. Um, I'm going to be doing a webinar over the next couple of days, and I'm going to go through the whole build from start to finish. We're going to, we're, I'm going to get a normal website as if a client's site, and I'm going to put a build and go through everything with all the new guys because we've had lots and lots of new people sign up recently. Um, but obviously, this is the upgrade, guys. Hope you love it. Um, hope that makes it a lot easier for, for people. In addition to growing your site, you can now check out what locations are on, what aren't, which has been added, what hasn't, and so on and so forth. Okay then, I thank you very, very much. Speak to you all soon. Cheers, bye.